Hey everybody, Kyle here, also known as Acid Rain 64 and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Dead Rising 2. Alright, so we are getting down to the bare... Uh, why do I keep saying... I keep wanting to say bare minimum of this game, but that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, but we're getting down to the end of this game. Um, we have case 7-3 that's active right now, and that is actually the last case before the final case. So we'll go in here and see what's going on. Claptrap since you all got here. Now look, we're all under a lot of stress. Seeing things out of the corners of our eyes, imaginary stuff. There's nothing imaginary about this. I don't understand. Why would they... I'll tell you why. It's been a couple of years since the last outbreak. People aren't buying Zombrex like they used to. But now zombies are back, and even the military can't stop them. There are probably lineups at every pharmacy in the country, all for Zombrex. They're making a killing off this. Okay, so listen to me. So, you're saying that Phenotrans killed all these people to drive up their goddamn stock price. This is just crazy. We have to get this information out. We have to take these bastards down. I found this down there, too. I'll call my station. They'll send help. What the hell? Looks like you finally got your story. Too bad you won't be getting that award. You bastard. You're on their payroll. Yeah. You were supposed to die in the outbreak, Chuck. All of you were supposed to die. But don't worry. The firebombing will fix all of that. So no one will find the bullets in your bodies. I didn't want them to go down this way. Although I have to say, I am gonna win. I knew you were the bad guy! Kids say the cutest things, don't they? Chuck! You can't let him escape! Don't worry. He's not making it out of here in one piece. Well, damn. Okay, so Sullivan turned out to be a bad guy, and I mean, when I first played this game, I, I saw it coming, so it wasn't a big surprise to me, because uh, he was kind of a dick most of the time. Um, but poor Rebecca, just just dead like that. I hate that. Um, okay, so um, one thing I want to do real quick, I think we might need to give TK some Zombrex real quick. I don't know where he's at, but let's see real quick. I forget. Um, he's obviously not in the kitchen, but he might be. Oh, okay, he's over here. Uh, let's see if we can't do anything with him yet. Okay, we'll go ahead and give him some Zombrex. such thing as luck, little man. It's the superior genes. Oh! My daughter takes this better than you. You raised her right, Chucky. 
It's a real shame she has to die. <laughs> oh! Don't mess with the face. Okay, so I think you want to give that to him before you do um, this final case uh, labeled the facts. Um, because I think if you skip out on doing that and then just go fight Sullivan, um, I'm pretty sure you can't go into the extra mode of this game, which is uh, overtime mode. And I want to do that in this playthrough. So, um, yeah, I wanted to make sure I, I got him the Zombrex. Now, um... So the, this is the last case we have for the game, and he is, um, looks like he is on the roof in the, uh, looks like the, the Yucatan Casino. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Chuck, I saw Sullivan head for the Fortune Park exit from Royal Flush Plaza. Okay, so we're basically going to be following him for a bit and trying to, um, get to where we can actually fight him. And, uh... We will get to that, but um, what I'm going to do before I, I head to him is actually gear up for this fight. I did not know there was going to be a cutscene there. Um, but basically, he is going to head for um, the top of the Yucatan Casino. Um, and he's basically setting up for something big there. And we need to go stop him. So, um, the, the fight with Sullivan is a very difficult fight. You can't really um, use any weapons that have like a slow um, attack like the uh, the defiler here we're not going to be able to use that in that fight um, I guess these two might be okay because they are kind of quick so I will keep the magician uh, sword and the uh, spiked bat but there is something I want to make um, we actually got a combo card a while back I don't remember for what or um, how long ago we actually got it but basically Okay, let me see. Um, we got um, some kind of knife gloves thing, and we want to we want to make that weapon. So basically, we want to find. Oh my gosh! Come on, get moving! Damn it! So we basically want to find some knives, and I. I think there's a place you can get knives in here. I thought it was actually that, um, that Chieftain's Hut place. But, either way, um, let's see, actually, here's what we'll do. We'll just head straight to the Palisades Mall through the shortcut. And, uh, what we'll do there, I know there's a knife shop there, so we'll be able to find, um, a couple of knives, and I think you need uh, some boxes of nails. Uh, basically, we have spike gloves, which uh, you use MMA gloves and uh, nails to to make, and then we have the knife gloves, which you need boxing gloves and knives to make. So I don't know if we'll find any um, boxes of nails here. Um, it may also be a good idea to grab one gun. So let me do that. Actually, you know what? Uh, it wouldn't be a, a really smart idea to actually get weapons yet because I want to make sure I have enough room for um, different stuff. Let's see, is there anything in here I can use? Um, Alright, well here's a here's a Bowie knife. Um, that's one thing we'll need. And the nearest crafting room is not in here. Um, or is it? Oh yeah, there is one in this this mall. Okay. 
there's so many crafting rooms in this, uh, in Fortune City, and I never actually really knew that. Okay, so, uh, way back earlier in the game, we did a mission called, uh, oh, I forget what it was, but it was where we rescued Kenneth, and, uh, I think his name was Jack. It was some old guy and some big fat guy, and they were arguing. Um, this was near the very beginning of the game. But they were actually in the knife shop. So up here is uh, Shanks. Oh my gosh. I've really got to learn to actually um, fight these zombies more. Okay, so... Oh my gosh. Damn it. This is stupid. There we go. So we'll grab ourselves another Bowie knife. Grab this melon here just in case. Um, I don't really know exactly where you can get not- oh my gosh! Okay, here's what we'll do. We're gonna go ahead and chill out here in this, um, this maintenance room real quick. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and make ourselves two of these knife gloves. And actually, maybe- oh yeah, these are good. Um... Maybe we won't, we won't even worry about the nail gloves, because I'm not going to go back and try to find um, boxes of nails. So, we'll just drop these gloves. But the best way to fight Sullivan is hand-to-hand, -hand, which is why I'm trying to get um, these weapons. Okay. Get away, get away. These things are pretty tough to kill. Um... Nothing in there we can use. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just uh, grab a few weapons, but I'm mostly just going to stock up on food. Um, I feel like that's going to be our biggest thing. Firearms aren't going to be the most helpful thing for this fight. Um, but definitely, um, the, the weapons we have are good, and then we'll just need some food. So I'm going to stock up, and I'll meet you guys um, right where the entrance to the Fax um, mission is. Okay, so I'm here in a restaurant here in the Yucatan Casino, and I feel like I'm geared up enough. Um, I tried to make more drinks than I actually did, but I think we're okay. So I have both of our sets of knife gloves. I've got two steak and orange juice, a painkiller, a nectar, which I might switch out for something else. Um, but that's basically you combine two orange juices. I thought it would give me something better. So actually, you know what? I'm going to drink that now. Okay, and then just going to pick up a wine instead because that'll heal us a bit more. All right, so I think at this point I am ready to um, head off to the boss fight. So that's what we're going to go do. So we got a call at some point um, from Stacy saying that um, Sullivan is heading up um, to the top of the Yucatan Casino, which I already said. Um, but that's where we're going to head. So let's see. Okay, so that's just that just puts us in this room here. Um, well, I guess if you need to pick up a few more food items, there's some here. Um, but they definitely don't make this easy on you because we have to make our way through a zombie-infested area before we even get to the boss. And I hate that. Um, do we have to actually climb up here? I don't remember. Okay, well, there's the exit, so I guess not. Um... And before we actually go fight Sullivan, um, I'm gonna actually check and see what kind of uh, uh, moves we have, like melee moves, um, that we can just use as Chuck. Because I'm really not sure. So let's see real quick. Um, whoops. Uh, we got our status, skills. Um, dang, I wish we had the knee drop. So we have the double kick. Alright, the jump kick, the DDT, 
Um, curb stomp, front kick, dodge roll, double leg drop kick, foot sweep. I guess that might be useful, uh, shift in space. Um, haymaker, and field goal. Okay, uh, we don't have anything that's going to be really good against them. Um, our attack is almost up there, our life is pretty good, item stock is good. So I think we got this. Holy shit, that got intense. Alright, so it's time to take down Sullivan. So, yeah, he can be a bit hard. There's all kinds of food and things around here if you need to, um... If you need to stock up while you're here. But what we're gonna do is just go straight for him. Basically, if you can get up to where he is and dodge his attacks, um... You should be fine. But he is going to make this fairly difficult for us. So just get up here, well on them, get knocked down into the zombies. There we go. Professional strats right there. Okay. So basically, just get up to where he is, and then this is this is where you can fall off again. But that's when shit's gonna get it gonna get good when we're up here with him. Maybe. Or just get knocked back down again. Alright, so if you can just stay up here and dodge his attacks, you'll be pretty good. Um, we already have his health down quite a bit. Um, and actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and drink the painkiller. Um, oh shit. That was a firecracker. I don't know if that explodes or not. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, as long as we have that painkiller, we should be alright. But I only brought one. So that does kind of suck. Oh. Yeah, if you're actually level 50, you can actually kick his ass pretty well with, uh... With just, uh... Your fists. Oh, man. That actually hurt. And we had the painkiller for that. Um, I grabbed a few stakes. And those actually heal quite a bit. Or at least I thought. Okay. Um. All right. Damn it. Let me let me fucking get back up there. Come on, man. Wait, was he healing? I think he healed a little bit. Well, I know my health's messed up, so maybe his is or his was too. All right. Damn it. Well, on him some more. Come on, punk. Alright. 
I think you need to try and keep your health up a bit um, while you're fighting him. I don't know why those three blocks are messed up like that. It's bugging me. Okay. Oh. Oh man, right into a zombie. Yeah, 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 shut up. Yeah, but I definitely think that these knife gloves are the best weapon to use against them. Um. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my health, but I'm just going to keep it pretty far up. Um, that's really weird. Oh, oh. Damn it. Okay, whatever you say, man. Like, I'm worried. You could also try to stay on the ground and just shoot him with, like, an LMG or something. That's not a bad idea. But, I feel like we, we got this. But I just need to be careful because something he did a while back um, knocked down most of my health. Unless it was just like that because, for some reason, my health is glitching out. But, just gotta hit him a few more times and then he will be done. There we go, one more hit. Let's do it. Yep, there we go, got him. And we are done. Channel 6 Action News. This is Chuck Green. You want the scoop of a lifetime? There's a bunker full of survivors in Fortune City. And I've got the proof of what happened here. I need rescue choppers. And I need them right now. Okay, well, that that's it. That's it for the main story of this game. Um, we had a very successful All Survivors run. So, okay, I'm actually probably going to have to mute this music. 
because I'm sure it's going to be copyrighted. Um, but yeah, so this this run went pretty well. There were a few hiccups um, along the way, mostly with uh, me just failing at a few things or not planning things out uh, that well. But we did save every survivor. We did um, complete every case. So this this game is completed for the most part, but there is an additional mode that uh, opens up after you complete the main story, but only if you get the S uh, rank ending, which uh, as you'll see at the end of this this credits thing here, uh, we did get. But in order to get that, you have to give TK Zombrex and save him. Um, otherwise, you don't get to go on to overtime mode, which is what will unlock uh, after completing this. So I will be playing through overtime mode, but it will be in a separate part. So this game isn't completely done yet. I think all I'm going to do when I play through overtime mode is just talk about things. Um, it's basically just a huge fetch quest with a boss fight at the end. Um, so it just kind of extends, extends the story just a little bit. Um, but it's still pretty good. So, um, yeah, I, I can't really, I can't really show this, uh, mm, this, the, I, I mean, I can show this, these credit things, but I can't, um, I can't actually, like, let the music go, so I guess I have to talk just a little more. Um, I think, uh, one thing I'm, I'm considering doing is playing through Dead Rising 1, and showing all the survivors in that and actually all the achievements and also um, Dead Rising 3 at some point um, Dead Rising 3 is um, I, I don't know it's very interesting it kind of goes directly with this game in a way um, but yeah we'll, we'll get to that at a later point um, okay I think this is almost over Possibly, maybe not. I kind of like Dead, Ri Dead Rising's uh, credits better because it actually has like the Dead Rising logo, and there's like zombies walking towards you, so it kind of like you know gave a mood that the game wasn't over yet or the story wasn't over. Like there was going to be other things coming on. Like the zombies were not stopped at all or anything like that. Um, I mean, I don't want to sit here and kind of rack on Dead Rising 2 because I love this game, but there's just so many things I like better about Dead Rising 1, and I will talk about those um, when I play through that game. But I think, I don't know, Chuck is a badass, so I'll, I'll give him that. Oh man, he's, I think he's a bit more more quiet than uh, what Frank, how Frank was. But Frank was more of a, I mean, I don't know, Frank was just, he, he was a badass too, but he was just focused on getting his scoop and just trying to do the right thing. And Chuck, you know, he's trying to revenge his wife and trying to protect his daughter and just trying to clear his name. So I think Chuck is the more, um, I don't know, the more badass in a, in a sense. Okay, so Phenotrans is behind everything. The outbreak, the gas, the safe house overrun, and now Sullivan is trying to escape, which I think we completed. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'll end this part off here, but I'm just going to continue right after this and go ahead and do overtime mode, because I think it starts instantly. Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's just see what happens. TK? 
overtime, Chucky. It's the best part of the show, and we just get started. I have something you want, and now you're gonna get me something I want. Oh yeah, you're gonna put in some work. Okay, so I guess that starts uh, overtime mode. I thought it started over uh, like right away, but I wasn't sure. What it what what move did I get? Uh, smash, which I can't use. Um. Okay, so Katie, hang in there, kiddo. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part off here. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys next time on Dead Rising 2 for overtime mode.